Dan, good morning. This is Terry Brock. I hope you are doing well. Uh, you'd asked about uh, our commerce and what personal branding plays a role in it. What role does personal branding play? Well, a huge role. Our commerce, which is relationship commerce, not just the e-commerce, but it's about a person. It reflects on who you are as a person. And it's a whole thing of branding, of what people perceive about you. Do they like you? Do they know you? Do they trust you? And you do this in a consistent way of sending out good value to the market marketplace. From a business point of view, that means you want to write regularly. It means you want to publish regularly. Publish in the form of audio, in the form of video, and things like that so that people get to know you and they feel like, hey, we know who you are. Think of it like a television personality. That television personality has to gain a certain kind of persona and then from that people say, oh yeah, I know him or I know her even though they've never met. So yeah, personal branding plays a huge part in our commerce and building relationships with people. However, keep in mind that that is one form of relationship. A more important and much deeper relationship, of course, is as you personally get to know people. And that's where it becomes a time issue and it matters of getting to know people and finding out who they are. Number two, you asked uh, how should the Gen Y start building business relationships. The Gen Y? Well, I think the Gen Y or Gen Y uh, generation should uh, build relationship pretty much the same as anyone else. You get to know people. You show them that you really care. You show them that you're a human being. Uh, today, we'll start with Twitter. We'll start with Facebook. We'll start with uh, my face or MySpace, and we'll get a lot of things like MyFace. Yeah, that's like Facebook and MySpace put together. <laughs> we'll put all those together. But you do it one way. Texting, of course, is another way. And Part of that building relationships is listening to the other person. So you see, it doesn't really matter what the technology is. The principle of caring for another human being is so important. That's how you start, and that's how you continue, and that's how relationships grow. When you show that you really genuinely care, not in a fake way, because we can see right through that, but someone that really does care, and you're there for them, providing value for value. That's the paramount proposition value for value means you don't try to take something from someone without giving back in return. Too many people today are takers. They just want to take from someone and they do not want to give anything in return. Government is like that. It just wants to take and take and take and empower those that are there. They do it ostensibly saying, hey, we're going to help people. Well, that's baloney. We've seen that through the centuries. And we can get a chance to step back and go, no, 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 no. How about we live as free, independent human beings? And uh, we'll do our living that way. That's how we build relationships. Number three, what should they do to best maintain those relationships? Uh, I think you're talking about Gen Y being they. Well, I think Gen Y or Gen X or Gen anything, whatever uh, human being happens to be, the principles are the same. You maintain those relationships by caring for people, remembering important dates. Uh, sometimes that's a birthday. Sometimes it's an anniversary. Sometimes it's just, uh, hey, let's get together this Friday night and uh, have some fun and do some things to build relationships. But also, you provide real value when they need it. You're there when they need help. Uh, a loved one has died or a serious situation has come up. You're there to help them. That is very important. Number four, you said, you've given speeches in several countries around the world. What things have you learned about relationship marketing from the different cultures? Well, I find that staying in touch and caring for people really matters most. You know, as I travel around the world, I went around the world uh, twice, first class around the world twice the uh, last couple of years, and uh, enjoyed it enormously. But the best part of it all was not just seeing great sights, not just seeing uh, wonderful things that are available there, but rather sitting down and having a quality conversation over some drinks, uh, breaking bread, having a meal with some good friends and getting a chance to see things from their point of view. Listening is really important. I've learned that listening is one of the most important things and be able to put aside the ideas that we have and be able to concentrate on what their needs are. That is always most important. And number five, do you think a larger understanding of different cultures will become more important as the world continues to shrink and markets become more global? Well, absolutely. Kineshno. Uh, yes, Kineshno is Russian for absolutely. So that's part of learn some languages. I would recommend that it would be good for anyone in Gen Y or any other language today to learn Spanish and Mandarin. 
these are two languages that are going to be strong in the future. For me, I've been studying Japanese and Russian, and so I've grown to love both the languages, the culture, and the cultures, as well as the people. I find that that's something for me, although I also have a deep love for those that speak Spanish now, going down to Panama and Central America, South America, I'm looking at getting into more later, and really enjoy that. I see that Spain is a country that is coming on strong still, and they will continue to be a dominant force in their language throughout the world. I see that Mandarin is very strong as well, and the Chinese are doing many, many things right that unfortunately the United States is not, and so we'll wait and see what happens on that. And you can bounce over to my website at www.terrybrock.com and uh, poke around there, look at some of the videos, uh, listen to the podcasts that I have. You can go to iTunes, do a search on Terry Brock, and you'll see uh, the iTunes uh, podcast that I have, and of course over on YouTube as well.